Alright everybody, we are back with game number two. I'm still Elmo, this is Poison TV. And the game is just being loaded up here. Derelict Watcher will be the next map here. And introducing our players spawning in the top right hand side, winning the first game for very very nice counter aggression. It is the Red Zerg player playing for the Alliance. It is sort of. And in the opposing corner, we are looking at the blue Terran player playing for Millennium. Using that first game after taking a very, very bad engagement. Can he step it up though? It is 4GG. Yeah, as previously mentioned, we already had game number one. Sort of won it. Let's see, uh, definitely now with uh, Derelict Watcher, I think it's the choice of 4GG. Uh, we have a, a little bit more Terran favorite map just because uh, it's it's a little bit it's I think it's it's still balanced but um, at least from my experience the Terrans seem to have a very 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 slight edge even though it's also not the worst map for, for Zerg players definitely not the best for Protoss players though uh, but still anyways OGG here once again going for a similar opening. This time I think it was 12-12. But still, I think we're going to see a Reaper expansion here out of him. On the other side, we once again see sort of going for the quick hatchery on 15 supply, which usually is once again followed up by a pool. Uh, so we should just see that one as soon as he accumulated 200 minerals. The question is, will 4GG once again go for the Reaper expansion here? I'm pretty sure though. Let's see what he's planning on doing after that barracks finished up here. Just a couple of seconds remaining on that. Let's see. He almost has 50 gas. It's the Reaper, okay. So once again, Reaper expansion here out of 4GG. And it also worked out kind of nicely for him in the previous game. We saw the two Reapers killing, I think it was, uh, they killed two uh, workers and enforced two uh, spores being cancelled or at least they forced the drone to build a spore to not die and then the cancellation of that um, so that already did some nice damage I think it was at around 150 minerals if he can do that again that would bring him in a very nice starting position of course it's not really something big it's not really like game winning moves as we saw uh, taking one bad engagement definitely can lose it though but it's, it's a very nice position to start off with uh, he shouldn't lose his Reapers though, that is very very important because you always want to keep that uh, that that scouting that the Reapers can offer as an option in your backhand. Now once again the first Reaper is going to make its way across, we'll jump up the high ground here into the Zerg base. We'll once again see the commands and at the factory follow up here out of 4GG. So it's pretty much the same thing as in game number one but of course once again the Lynx arrive just in time here to be able to deal with the Reaper and they almost get him trapped there already very low in HP but eventually he will escape to the low ground he's now going to look to do even more damage here so far he got one kill not sure if it was a worker or a Ling but I think it was a worker and now eventually the Reaper has to get out of the air wow survived with one HP that was close will now team up with the other Reaper to do some more harassment damage but alright that, that was not too bad getting one worker kill and not losing a Reaper worked out quite nicely there for uh, uh, for GG and he already forced uh, um, an extractor to be built here I mean that's just seven minerals but at such a high level at every mineral count now once again is going to push forward here but the Queens are already there once again getting that Reaper down to 4 HP wow he's definitely playing with the fire there of course we once again see behind all of that the three commands into opening out of uh, 4GG here which worked out quite nicely for him in the previous games now as previously we see that once again the Hellions being constructed here uh, so let's see if he can maybe do a little bit more damage with those Hellions as in the previous game because the Roaches that uh, sort of built in the first game were actually quite nicely in shutting them down. Eventually first command center is finished here for 4GG will lift it now uh, to the low ground and is now going to saturate slowly but steadily his expansion. So far he's only running on one gaster so he might or he, he will take probably second gas in just a couple of moments here to be able to get his production going here because eventually he might need it uh, I, I'd expect him to firm down once again to uh, barracks as he did in the first game 
Uh, but that is still some ways away. Uh, that was at around the time where the Hellion harassment really kicked in. Now we already once again have four. I'd expect him once again to wait for the Hellions number six and uh, five and six here. But if you take a look at the production tab, we already see the Roach Warren here once again, or sort of. There we go, there's the move out of the Hellions. Or at least a small, small, very, very small move out here, just going down the ramp. But this time we already see eight Roaches in production here, which is definitely a bigger commitment than we, what we saw in the first game. I think he just built five there. So he also, he's definitely building some Roaches here, so, uh, Sort of might be looking for some aggressive opening here, maybe trying to go for the counter push here, trying to shut down the Hellions in the middle of the map and then just go for the for the push and, and trying to take some or do some damage here. Of course, it's it's once again pretty much also just the same thing for him in this game. Going down the banding nest after that. Now we already see the first roach is pushing forward here, already killing almost one Hellion. Uh, on the side of 4GG, once again see double engineering Beidou going down as well as the starport. So that is pretty much exactly the same. Now once again the Hellions are pushing forward. We'll beat a couple of roaches so in the middle of already one Hellion goes down. The other one is very very low so that one could die in just a couple of seconds. There comes the Lynx and they get a very very nice surround on all of those Hellions already weakening them, uh, weakening them down quite considerably. And also the roaches are now pushing forward here trying to make something happen in the natural of uh, 4GG here. But with that wall of already there and a couple of bunkers going down. I think he should be safe, but that is a lot of Zerg, and we also see a lot of Banings being constructed here. 18 Banings are in the Morphage right now. He's definitely trying to go for the best here. Once again, the Hellions, of course, they spot them. That is very, very important here for 4GG, knowing that there are indeed a lot of Banings now moving towards his position here and trying to bust down that wall in. Already pulling a couple of workers off the line to be able to repair instantly. But I think it's not going to be very effective. The Banings are now pushing forward. The Bunkers are going to be back in. But that's a lot of uh, nice connections there for those paintings. They will eventually. Uh, I don't know where they are going. Oh, maybe into the mineral line. That's a lot of SCVs clumped up. Uh, deciding not to connect them. But he's uh, 4 once again taking a lot of damage here. Paintings are now pushing forward once again. They will connect it to the depots off the main wall in now, which has been breached. But I don't think he can actually go up there because there's a lot of widow mines and even more bunkers to reinforce that. But. OG already took a lot of damage if we take a look at the workers count or at the workers last tap. 13 workers have been killed so far and even more are now going to go down here as uh, those roaches find the last remaining SCVs here. Now once again OG is pushing up but the SCVs get a nice round to uh, medevac evacuate all the units out of there. And it is once again not looking too hard here for 4 g Zerg is once again now steering into his natural is doing a lot of damage. Marauders are now pushing forward once again, uh, but they have to be careful because that's still a lot of Zerg stuff. But overall I think Sword of is now in a very very nice position. He denied just so much mining time and killed off 18 workers right now in the process. That definitely bought him enough time to establish his own third base. He's now going to work on the Spire. He's already getting his plus one plus one upgrades. We saw a double engineering bay for 4GG for actually for quite some time already. But so far, nothing has been done. Uh, probably because he was he was busy otherwise. Did they? I thought they, he, he started them a lot earlier. Anyways, um, fire is now about halfway done and still sort of has a lot of units. So if OGG went for some sort of a counter aggression, which is most likely since he already has the first couple of medevacs out now, um, he, he would definitely be able if he get at least some proper connections. He should be able to deal with that, but since the Spire is pretty much already 80% done, our um, Mutalisks are just a couple of seconds, but they're basically right around the corner. There we go, there's 4GG moving out right now. A couple of Marauders, they will definitely help in taking most of the, attacking most of the Bannings, also a couple of Wooder Mines, but we only see uh, 15 Marines so far out in the field, and if most of them die, those Marines will just clear up the rest. There we go, Bannings push, our oh, Zirkings pushing forward. Alright, very nice again there, but there we go, there's Zerg, he's on, engaging on creep here. Zerglings are pushing forward here, nice evacuation though, uh, picking up most of the units into the net, uh, third base there, but decides not to drop them. He's now, I think, just returning home here. And with the first couple of uh, Mutalisks just spawning here, uh, he should be able to uh, deal with those drops quite nicely, already getting a basis number 4 up and running here. 
that's working definitely quite nicely for sort of there we go for of uh, for gg now going for the drop though in the third base uh, army of sort of is not really too good in position it's sitting outside of the third base so he should be able to get there rather quickly but still a lot of damage will be done here by that drop let's see five workers that's not really too much to uh, to be quite honest and also now the mutalisks are going to or trying to intercept those hellions their first pack actually misses them but the rest will get at least a couple of nice what are those paintings doing paintings thinking they have uh, some sequences implemented uh, but anyways, there we go. Bannings are now pushing forward. We'll connect onto most of the Marauders. The push has been once again cleaned up. Uh, also now plus, one, uh, plus two carapaces are being researched for uh, sort of here at the moment. More mutalisks are being constructed. So as it is right now, sort of is probably working on a mutilation. Also we see plus one fly attacks now being researched here. And as it is right now, 4GG really, really in a bad position. He eventually is now going to saturate his third base already with a couple of mules mining there. In terms of income, of course, sort of is just leading by so much, currently sitting at 250, 100 uh, uh, income. Mules are now going to push into the main here, already taking out two winter mines that were buried, and there's not really too much anti-air still going on. There is a turret though, but those uh, depots are pretty much unprotected, but eventually the arriving marines forced those uh, mules out of there. 80 workers to 51 here for sort of his economy is just overpowering the one of uh, 4GT. It is not looking good to be quite honest here. Also his upgrades are now superior. His plus 2 plus 2 is almost done. Whereas plus 2 plus 1 of 4GT still takes quite a while. Also plus 1 of Mulus is just right around the corner here. 16 more bandings are being moved here. And I think with them sort of is now gearing up for a little bit of an attack here. Mulus are pushing forward. Have to be careful though not to get hit by those winter mines. Picks up one that was very, very well done there by him. At the moment, the Mutalist count is at 18, which is definitely very nice. Things are now pushing forward. Also, the Bainings with Baining speeds are rolling currently. 27 Bainings, that is a lot. Here we go. Roaches are pushing forward. There goes the Bainings. All oh, the Zergians are now pushing and coming in from all the sides. Nice attacks from the Bainings. Also, the Lynx are pushing forward. By 4GG is also doing a very nice job. He actually manages to keep most of the Marines alive. Once again, the uh, Azurkings are going to sacrifice themselves to be able to get those Mutalisks out of there. That was, I'd say, not really the, the best trade that sort of could have possibly gotten. But, but, but still, it, it worked out kind of nicely, even though the Widow Mines here of 4GG did a very, very nice job grabbing or, or killing most of the Bainings off, sort of. That definitely helped him out in this engagement. But taking a look at the map, actually, we already have some landmines here from... Uh, 4GG, uh, not from 4GG, but from sort of set up in, in, in all the, the choke points in the middle here. That is definitely nice. Once again, now the Mulists are going to push into the main, take out one missile turret, and they are now going to work on most of the reactors there. That is a lot of time here for 4GG. Those reactors also nice contaminate they're going down on their barracks. That will not be able to build any more units here for quite some time, uh, which is definitely nice. Mulists count is now sitting at 26. We already see the hive. Now going down and also infest attack is done. We see already pathaging bands being researched here. Another widow mine is getting taken out here. Very nice pick. Also sort of almost grabbing that medevac there. Definitely doing a nice job with his mutals. And he's now going to bait the terror player into those bandings. Beautiful, beautiful connect. They already taking out a lot of those uh, links there. And once again he's baiting him even more here. But I don't think 4GG will fall for it yet another time. That was beautifully done there by sort of. Mulus are now once again pushing forward, trying to get those meta back. Ah, not quite though. They will get another Marauder though, which is definitely also nice because that a Marauder won't be able to tank any more Bainings. Very, very well fought out play so far by Sword of, who is now actually most, uh, not most up, but maxed out. Uh, is now going to get his plus three, plus three upgrades and uh, the Adrenaline Glance going for his Marines, but. If you take a look at the plus 3 plus 3 of 4GG, that one is a little bit quicker. So that might help uh, getting 4GG back into this game. Now all the mules have to be careful here, but they are going once again for the bait here. But with that scan, of course, the bainings are not getting too well of connects here. But it's a trap, 4GG, watch out. The Zerg play is already perfectly set up. Is now going to swarm in from all the sides. Beautiful winner by connection, but that is not looking too good for 
4GG here once again, who drops down to 170, whereas Sword of is still basically maxed out now. 66 Zerglings in production and 18 more Zer uh, Banelings. But 4GG is pushing forward once again, this is 9 creeps right here with some nice scans. Blisks, however, will swing in from the back, trying to cut off some reinforcements. And there comes the Banelings! Beautiful connect once again here for Sword of. This time the Widow Mines are not really in position yet. Now comes the Mule as well. We have to be careful here. Because there's actually still a lot of Marines left here. But that definitely worked out now perfectly for Sword of. Uh, who definitely is now dropping into Pido a little bit. He's currently sitting at 175. His army is a little bit smaller than the one of 4GG currently 94 to 96. Oh well, he actually just started some units. Now 3-3 is about to finish for 4GG, he's now probably going to gear up for some aggression because he knows he has some small window of time where he actually can make something happen here. Once again doing a very very nice job at actually uh, pushing back that creep spread here. Plus 3 plus 3 is now about to finish, there comes the Bendings once again in, but they will only get Marauder connect, but oh that's a nice connect on the Marines here. The second wave of Bendings are just waiting behind that. Uh, some drones are also in the mix, I don't know what they are doing, but they might give away that there is indeed a 5th base down there for sort of. There we go, Mutalists are pushing forward, they have to be careful though because there's still a, a lot of marines remaining, but they pick up a couple of medivac kills, which definitely is very very nice here. But now actually the supplies are evening out just a little bit, there comes the Bandings once again! Mochichi has to be careful, he pick, uh, focuses them out very very nicely though, but still the army of sort of is just so big, take a look at all those units. Here we go once again from all the sides. Can he catch that pack of units? He can. Beautiful. The bendings are still rolling forward and that might be very well in. They are getting beautiful connects onto all of those marines. The ter uh, Terrible drops down to 100 supply, 35 to 90 army supply here in favor of Sword of, who is now going to push across the map. He picked up a lot of momentum. Will now also start the Ultras Cavern as a follow-up behind all of that. And especially if that finishes up, he should be able to win this game. Actually, I'm not. I, I don't know why he's not pushing just across the map here because he definitely has now a lot of momentum. Uh, probably wants to get a couple of more banings here. But the mules are definitely pushing forward. We'll get another widow mine here. Very very nice job there by sort of. We'll also catch a couple of marines that we're throwing around the map here. Has to be careful not to get de uh, too deep into enemy territory here because those mutalists are definitely very, very valuable here for him. Currently, the count is sitting at 28. He's now going to push into the third base. He will take out the missile turret, and a lot of SCVs are going to go down here. Very, very well done. Also, trying to focus that command center, but with more and more marines at, uh, arriving there, I think 4GG should be fine. But that's still a lot of mutalists. You mustn't underestimate their capabilities. And that's just a handful of marines. But there we go. Units are now in the fourth phase as well, forced to lift off there. Uh, also getting a lot of SCVs that were just sliding down there and 4GG throws down the GG. Well played by Sword of. He will take that series 2-0 and is going to advance into the next round.